Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 28th of March 2019 and the time has just gone uh, 1100 GMT, 11am here in London. Um, the Chart of the Week this week is going to be the Eurostoxx 50. And the reason why I, I selected this market is because we could potentially be in a, an, uh, about to create a head and shoulders reversal pattern uh, on the Eurostoxx 50 chart. Now, before we get into the actual Eurostox 50 itself, uh, let's just take a quick look at a textbook example of what a head and shoulders reversal, reversal pattern is. If you take a look here on the chart, um, the head and shoulders pattern is defined as a series of higher highs and higher lows. So the market pushes to the, to the upside. We can see the market creates another higher high here. It pulls back to a reaction low. Then the market push, creates another higher high. Uh, and then it pushes lower yet again. And this, and the kind of textbook example of a head and shoulders pattern, uh, the low that it pulls back to here is similar to, to the low here. And if you draw a line between those two lows here, we call that the neckline. And then the market bounces off the neckline, pushes higher again. But on this occasion, the height, um, the, the push to the upside fails to take out, not only does it fail to take out the, the, the previous high, which, which we call the head, it's also about a similar height um, to the previous high as well. So this would be potentially, this is what's called the left shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right shoulder. And then the market pushes to the downside, and once we have a break of the neckline, that could be your sign that we are potentially looking to move to the downside. Now, in some head and shoulders patterns, when it, when it, when it does play out, on some occasions, when the market breaks below the neckline, it will often go a few points below the neckline and then retrace to the neckline again before pushing to the downside, before having an aggressive sell-off. Now, one of the advantages uh, of the head and shoulders pattern is that if it does, if it is to be a head and shoulders pattern, it can often give us a, a handy price target or a rough price target to aim for. And how that is achieved is we take a look at the um, we take we take a look at the at the level that the head was at, um, and we, we we note that down, and we we take a we take a, a, a reading of where the neckline is at, and we um, ascertain the price difference between the two. So you essentially get the price difference of of the head and the neckline, and then you project that downwards from the break of the neck of the neckline, and that that, that can often be seen as a good uh, guidance. Uh, for your price target in terms of where, where to look for. Now that we've actually looked at the textbook, textbook example of what a head and shoulders reversal pattern is, let's take a look at the ch chart of the Eurostox 50. So the market has been bouncing back since December. The market has pushed to a multi-month high here in early March. This could potentially be the formation of the left shoulder. So if we hit the higher high, the market drifts lower to the reaction low, pushes higher again, creating another high. Uh, higher high and hitting another multi-month high. This is the potential to be the head, which comes into play at 34.22. The market drifts lower. It doesn't get, get quite down to the lows, uh, this reaction low, but, but, but not, not too far away from it. The market has pushed higher yet again, but we, we're still haven't gotten uh, as high as the, as, the, uh, as, the, as the most recent high. So this has the potential to be the, 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 uh, the right shoulder. Now, we, the market, we, we are yet, yet to figure out which way the market is going to go, but just keep in mind, if the market does manage to, shoot, to turn over on itself yet again, and if it does manage to take off this level here, the neckline, which comes into play at 32.73, a break below that neckline could be a sign that it, in fact, it is in fact a head and shoulders reversal pattern. And as we just discussed a second ago, we could be looking at a, a, a quite a substantial move to the downside. Um, if we measure the, the gap between that for the, that's potentially the head here, the top here at 34.22, and this level here, the neckline in at 32.73, at a price difference of 149 points. So if this is to be a head and shoulder reversal pattern, we could be looking at breaking 149 points below the neckline here, and, and that would bring us down to a price target of in around 31.24. Now, as I was saying on the... Um, when I was looking at the textbook example of, of the head and shoulders pattern, it's often common to see a break below the neckline, a return to the neckline, and then before potentially a move to the downside again. Now, it isn't, just to be clear, we can't, we can't actually, unless we actually have a break of the neckline, 
we actually it, um, we, we can't be it cannot be confirmed as a head and shoulder reversal pattern. So we really need to see that break. Now, if I'm wrong and if it's not a break, if it's not if it's not a head and shoulder reversal pattern, uh, it is worth pointing out uh, that the Eurostox 50 has been in a solid upward trend for over three months. We've seen a nice series of higher highs and higher lows. So if this market does manage to press on higher from here. We could be looking at retesting the kind of big psychological number of 3,400. And move beyond that, could take us potentially could bring the uh, the mid March high of 3,422 into play. And should we go beyond that, we could be looking at targeting 3,460. Uh, we can see here that 3,460 acted as support in early August and actually acted at resistance in late August. And, in, in, in the, and the, the late September high nearly got as high as 3,000. 460. So, depending on what the price action does, whether we push on higher from here or whether we have another move to the downside and a break before and a potential break of, the, of that trend line of that of that neckline rather, that will actually determine which potentially give us an indication of which way the market is going to go. Uh, one last thing before I finish up. Uh, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review and click reviews. Thank you very much.